In this tutorial, we're going to set up Google Analytics for the very first time. What we're going to do is create a brand new Google Analytics property, a brand new website, and then we're going to put the code on the website that we need to start sending events about what our users are doing on the site to Google Analytics for processing. We'll then jump into the UI for Google Analytics and see some of the events and reports that we get right out of the box. All right, let's dive in. Okay, now we're on the homepage of our Google Analytics property. Now I've already created a Google Analytics account and a Google Analytics property. And once you do that, you're gonna end up on a page that looks like this. And it's gonna be saying that, hey, we don't have any data right now. You need to set up a data stream. And all a data stream is, is a source of data that we're gonna feed into Google Analytics for processing. Then Google Analytics can use that data to provide us with reports, which will in turn provide us with insights about what's happening on our website. Okay, so there's a couple different type of streams that we can create. We can create a web stream or an app stream. And for the purposes of these videos, we're gonna focus solely on websites. So all we have to do is go down here and click web. And then we put in our web address, so it's gatutorials com but you can use your website address and I'll call it GA tutorials website as my stream name so that's the source of data that's going to be provided for Google Analytics we'll also notice this enhanced measurement option here now what that means is that Google Analytics can automatically collect some events on our website like page views so that we can tell when a user goes from one page to the next uh, whenever users are clicking links or downloading files watching videos all of that can be automatically collected for you. So we're gonna keep that enabled because that's nice for us. We don't have to do much more than get the tagging set up and then we get that functionality. So we're gonna go ahead and create stream. On the next dialogue, there's a couple things that we wanna take note of. First of all, we wanna make sure all of our information looks correct. And then we're also gonna look at this measurement ID. We're gonna need this ID for our tagging. And our tagging is what we put on our website to start sending the interactions and events that are happening from our users to Google Analytics. Without tagging, Google Analytics gets no data, so we have to set that up, and that's the next thing we're gonna do. If you look through this dialog, you'll see there's a lot of different options. You can see our Google tag down here. There are uh, different ways that we can set up tagging for the purposes of this series. We're gonna focus on Google Tag Manager. I believe that this is the best way to set up tagging because it sets you up for success in the future as well as right now. Because you can use Google Tag Manager to manage tags for all different products, not just Google products. So we're gonna use that because I think it's a great tool that we should be using. All right, so let's go ahead and copy our measurement ID and then we'll head over to Tag Manager and get our tagging set up. We can get to Google Tag Manager directly from Google Analytics. So if we click out of here, and we go to the top. This is the tag manager icon. We're gonna click on that and we'll say that it'll ask us to go to Google Tag Manager and get started. So we're just gonna do that. It'll open up a new tab. And now we're at the Google Tag Manager homepage and we need to create an account. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna call this account my GA Tutorials. Uh, and then I'm gonna put in my website gatutorials.com, just like we did for Google Analytics. And we'll click web and say create. We're gonna have to agree to some uh, terms of service and then we'll get our tag and our container set up for us. And the first thing that's gonna pop up is some code that we need to add to our website so that Tag Manager can start working for us. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk through an example of setting up Tag Manager and Google Analytics within Tag Manager uh, in our code for our website. Let's do it. All right, so first thing that we need to do is copy this script. This one goes into the head, the first one, the second one goes into the body tag. So we're just gonna follow the instructions of exactly what this is telling us to do. I'm gonna go over to my code editor, Visual Studio Code, and I have a very, very simple website already set up, which you'll see in a second. So we'll go to our HTML page. And then in the header of our HTML, we're gonna paste this code. So there we go, we've got our code in here. It copies our GTM ID over, which is the ID for our container. So, that, so what's gonna happen is that when our web page loads, the script is gonna run and it's gonna load our GTM container. And then that container is gonna load any other tags that we've configured within it. Let's go back over to the web and copy our body tag. This is another script that we need. We'll scroll down to the bottom of our body. 
We'll paste that in and save it. And now our container should be set up and ready to go. But right now we haven't configured anything in Google Tag Manager to actually happen. So let's go back over to Tag Manager and do that. So we can close this since we've set up our website. And now we can go ahead and configure our tag for Google Analytics. So we go to our tags, we say new tag, go to our tag configuration, click edit, and you'll see that we have a Google Analytics GA4 configuration. That's exactly what we want. So let's click on it. When we do that, we're gonna be asked for our measurement ID. Now this is the ID that we have over on our analytics page. So let's go here, uh, back over to Google Analytics. We'll copy our measurement ID from the top right of our web stream, and then we'll paste that into Google Tag Manager. We're gonna leave everything pretty much at the default here and just see what happens. We, need, we do need a trigger. We want this to load on every single page on our website. And then Google, Google Analytics is gonna do the rest. They're gonna have all those enhanced measurement events that we need. And let's rename this tag to something relevant. We'll call it GA4 uh, config for our website. All right, we'll save that. And then we need to submit and publish these changes to our container. We're just gonna publish them. Not adding descriptions, all optional. And we should be good to go. So let's go over to our website and see if everything is working. This is our beautiful website, which is a very simple demo account. And keep in mind that all of the code that you're gonna see here is available on our GitHub. So you can find this demo website on our GitHub with, so that you can follow along with this example yourself. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the debug tool. So on Mac, that's Command Option I. On Windows, that's F12. We're gonna go down to our network tab and see what happens whenever we refresh this page. All right, what's gonna happen is we're gonna see that our GTM container has loaded and we'll see that uh, our Google Analytics tag is running. You can see our measurement ID right there in the network panel. So this is great. This means that everything that we've done has actually worked and now we should be able to go into Google Analytics and see our data. So let's hop over and see if it's working. All right, we'll close this and just go back to our home page. And now look, we've got a different home page. We don't have that alert telling us that we need to set up our data stream. This is good news. It looks like we're working. So we can go over to our reports and go to real time. And we should be able to see that a user will show up here in just a second. Okay, and then after just a couple of minutes, we'll see that our data has been fed from our website into our Google Analytics property, and we can see that now we have one user on our website. This is amazing. That quickly we were able to go set up Google Analytics from scratch, put it on our demo website, run it, and get data feeding into Google Analytics. Hopefully that explains everything that you need to get started on your own website. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or join our Discord server and ask questions to us and the community there, and we'll be sure to answer your questions. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Happy measuring.